Nasrallah. This is Yaqeen. I just wanted to have a look at into this knowledge about the commandment about um, thou shalt not eat unclean food. Thou shalt not eat unclean meat. There is no commandment on it. It's kind of fishy to me, you know what I mean? That's not fishy to you, Yasharala. There's no commandment. The laws are, bro- are breakdowns of the commandments, correct? The laws are breakdowns of the commandments. There is no commandment listed about eating unclean food, unclean meat. <clears throat> I want to go here um, and show you something about the law. Galatians 3.10, right? It's in the Second Testament, right? For as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse. You catch that, Yasharala? For as many as are of, of the works of the law are under the curse. Right? Judah and Judah and the rest of the Israel, Israelites, Judah and Israel are cursed under the curse because of the breaking of the law, which is the commandments. The laws are breakdowns of the commandment. You break the law, you break it, you break the commandment of that law. You break them all when you break one of them. It's not hard to understand. For it is written, Curse is everyone that continueth not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. So pretty much you are cursed if you continue not to do all the things which are written in the book of the law to do them, to obey them. Where it is in the law. You should not eat swine flesh or any abominable food, any, any abominable, abominable meat. That's unacceptable to Yahweh. That Yahweh despised. That Yahweh forbid Judah and Israel to consume here on earth. Now dig this here. James 2.10 Right? For whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. That's James 2.10. You see that? Again, for whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. So if you're eating pork, eating swine, you know, that's a law. We just don't see it in the commandments, listed in the commandments, due to the whitewashing, due to Esau, them, and you know, the Edomites, the heathen, doing their wicked bid, as prophesied, so part of prophecy. But still, violating Deuteronomy 4 and 2, it's not a shoulder to lean on for any, for any nation, for any nationality of people. That's one dangerous cup of lean to be sipping, ain't it? Nah. Subliminally, and their little titles and all that there, thinking that this spiritual eye here is, is not sharp enough to see that. I want to let you know about the cut. I guess this is another additional way to be ignorant 
or be classified as ignorant. Oh well, so be it. Seems to be something within my spirit of truth that I can't help. That's more concerned because that's all kind of all kind of scripts, man. That's cutting. That's cutting the wicked and they ignorance. And and them being naive to the truth. You know. Look at what they said. Again, I testify to every man who gets himself circumcised, who gets himself circumcised, who practice the law, who, who study the laws and commandments, and wake up to the truth, to who he is, circumcised, ain't participating in no Christianity, ain't participating in no Buddhism, ain't participating in, in no Kimmy or anything, nothing, nothing else, no, no, nothing else. That's what the commandments and laws. Circumcised. Woke a, a fully awakened warrior. Right? Khan. That he is obligated to obey the whole law. That circumcised is... Spiritual out of been open to the scripts. And that's and that's a, a wonderful, righteous way to go. You know, but I just want to share some of that, which I'll be bringing more of these, more of these uh these look, you know, snips and vid videos uh are going in or about this topic here. It's plenty, it's plenty cuts to cut the ignorant on. But this y'all can't shallow on.